Hey everybody, I'm Nicholas Skinner with Skinner Games, and you're here for another episode of Game Reviews in 5 Minutes or Less. In this episode, we'll be talking about one of my favorite OSR projects that was years in the making. Zweihände, which is a German word for a really big friggin' two-handed sword. Because that's how many hands you're going to need to hold up this book. This is the book. On top is the 5th edition player's handbook. And this book does not let you down. Aside from a really beautiful ribbon being in here to mark your place, I love putting ribbons in my books. I do it all the time. The book itself is just stunning. The pages are heavy-duty semi-gloss paper. So the illustrations come out really well, and the art is just gorgeous. One of my favorite illustrations comes from the Expert Professions section. Ta-da! The original idea of Zweihander originally started on a web form. Eventually it worked into its own system based off the old Warhammer Fantasy roleplay. The reason why Zweihander book is so thick is because it has everything, absolutely everything, you're gonna need. So it has your Game Master section, a ton of monsters, and a load of player options. Now the book itself is based off of a D100 mechanic. This mechanic is based off of percentage dice. Say you have a 40 in Intimidation. You roll your percentage dice, and if you roll 40 or below, you've successfully intimidated whatever target it is you're dealing with. It's a really simple mechanic, although there's a lot of other things that complicate it. And for me, one of the things I love most about the old Warhammer Fantasy and now Spy Hunter is the character creation process and the kinds of characters that you can make. Now, Spy Hunter is a generic fantasy game. It gives you a lot of rules to play a grim and dark fantasy setting, so kind of low fantasy. More of things like Game of Thrones, even Lord of the Rings. You can play a game in late medieval period to early renaissance and beyond. They have rules for guns and swords and all sorts of things. You can even play an ancient steampunk game if you really wanted to. One of the more unique mechanics that came out of Warhammer Fantasy was the profession. So you rolled up your basic character, but then you had something that refined you even further other than race and stuff like that, was that you had a profession. It kind of worked like a class, but was a little bit different. And Spy Hunter has a ton of professions. I'm just going to read you the list of the basic professions, because there are more advanced ones, as I mentioned when I showed you the picture of the not Indiana Jones. Adherent, anarchist, anchorite, animal tamer, antiquarian, apothecary, artisan, astrologer, bailiff, barber surgeon, beggar, berserker, boatman, bone picker, bounty hunter, bravo, <gasps> buccaneer, burglar, camp follower, charlatan, cheap jack, coachman, courtier, cultist, diabolist, Doomsayer, Dragoon, Engineer, Entertainer, Envoy, Footpad, Fop, Gambler, Gamekeeper, Grave Robber, Gutter Snipe, Hedge Knight, Hedgewise, Highwayman, Informer, Investigator, Jailer, Jester, Laborer, Man at Arms, Militiaman, Monk, Old Believer, Outrider, Peasant, Pilgrim, Pit Fighter, Preacher, Prostitute, Provocateur, Pugilist, Racketeer, Raconteur, Rake, Rat Catcher, Reeve, Scribe, Sellsword, Servant, Slayer, Smuggler, Squire, Trapper, Vagabond, Violet, Vigilante, and Watchmen. Playing a rat catcher is one of my favorite things to do in these kinds of games because it's friggin hysterical. You also get a small little terrier. Each profession also comes with its own illustration. And there is my beloved rat catcher. So of course you have your average skills. Alchemy, athletics, awareness, folklore, gambling, piloting, stealth, survival, stuff like that. You also get some neat talents that allow you to do some of the extra things that are kind of neat. Like for instance, Gruesome Shot. When you take aim and then make a successful ranged attack, adds three damage. It never hurts to have three more damage. There are lots of tools, lots of alchemical items. There's lots of things in this book for anybody to really pull from. There are rules for crafting and enchantment and magic. And the magic is really quite in depth. It's a huge section. Because in the world of Warhammer, magic wasn't always a good thing. And even though this isn't Warhammer, it tries to reproduce in a generic game format the principles that made adventuring in the old world so much fun. And part of that was really crazy magic and what it did to you. For the most part, those who used magic became mutated in some way because it was opening yourself up to the powers of chaos. Although there were elven enchanters and things like that, Humans had a really dangerous time using magic, and they highlight that most excellently in this book. There are also some amazing, just crazy creatures in this book, and every illustration in it is just astounding. I mean, you get everything in this book, from Templars, to peasants, to rat people, to chaos creatures and demons. I hope one day to be able to organize a game with Spy Hunter so that we can kick around the old world and slay some stinking demons. If you found this review helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We try and release a new video once a week, so keep an eye out. 
We review new games, we review old games, we review some games that are to come, and we review other things that might be useful for your game. Also check out our other show, Retro Roleplaying, where we will play through some of these games so that you can see how they work at the table. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming!